welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we'll be building our very own task manager. Um, this one will be focused more around sort of memory usage and we'll be uh, going over a few things. So first thing we're doing is printing out what our CPU percentage our computer is using over a specified time interval. And then we'll be um, printing out our memory usage statistics um, and then we looking at our disk partitions and then our network connections and then also finally a little fun thing is we'll be uh, I'll be showing you how you can find out how your computer knows what time you last booted all using Python now you may have come across something a bit like this if we look over to our screen here and ours will be uh, displaying similar sort of memory statistics to this so this is what we're using to compare against what we have on our outputs uh, however, it will be a bit less visual, um, but um, still, you know, perfectly accurate. However, there are a couple of things which they um, do look at slightly differently, uh, which I'll go through when the time comes. So uh, let's get started. So uh, the first thing you want to do is zoom in. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe if you like this channel because there are so many great tutorials out there and um, If you like this then you're gonna love all of them So uh, this is all using the PS util module uh, So this is what um, I get all my sort of information on about the computer that I'm on So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate our CPU percentage so the CPU percentage that the computer is running and over a specified interval. And that is simply done by typing in, well, psutil, well, I've, I've imported psutil as p, so I don't have to type in um, psutil every time. So you simply do that by typing in p dot cpu percent. Why didn't that come in? There we go, pu percent and then type in the interval. So I'm going to have it displaying over one second interval. So simply I press the button and one second later I'll get an output. So let's run that. Bingo, 19.3. So 19.3, um, I have noticed that the, the my video recorder, OBS Studio, does use up a lot of memory it seems. Oh, what's happened there? Um, so Normally, its background running speed is about 0.81%, if that, but uh, OBS Studio seems to be using a lot of that. So let's compare this against what we have by minimizing. So 19%, 19.3, it seems to be okay, it seems to be working right there. So let's try this again. We get 15.4, around the 14, between 14s. It keeps jumping, which is a bit of a problem, but you know, we keep doing this, we seem to be getting similar numbers, you know. It seems to be working, they seem to be matching. So the second thing I'm going to show you is uh, we are going to print our get our memory usage statistics by typing in uh, p.virtual memory. And then equal that to whatever you want to call it. I've called it mem usage for memory usage. And we're going to print that. And then uh, we don't need this. And then we're going to run the output. And as you can see here, we have um, a list of our total memory, available memory, uh, percentage being used, uh, the memory that is being used, so what that percentage is, and then how much memory is free. And I've got all the definitions here. Uh, so total, total physical memory. Available means the memory that can be instantly given to processes without the system going into swap. So it doesn't need to sacrifice anything. And then uh, used is the memory used and free is the memory not being used at all. That is readily available. It can be used at any point. But there is one thing here is um, this does not include private working memory. So this is all um, RSS and VMS memory. And if you want to look at that sort of what that is in Windows Task Manager, if you go to Processes, Option, a View, 
select columns and you can click on that I've done that just now and you know you've got this is what's normally selected so you just tick without that so what you can do is you can take off that and put that instead and then those numbers would match your memory usage okay so next thing we're going to do is we're going to show our disk partitions um, so that is done by typing in p.disk partitions and we're simply going to run that and as you can see here we get a list of everything of all the devices that we have in our um, in our computer so I have you know I have some hard drives installed so some removable memory and I also have some fixed memory as well and then we can also add to that our disk usage uh, let's get rid of this and we can see here exactly the same way as our memory usage how much memory our disks are using what's free and the percentage that is being used so very very good stuff and then the next thing you want to do I think this is really good is we can find out now we get details about memory and packet information across our network so what our computer has sent and what we've got back and we do that by typing in p dot net io counters so this if you're not aware is p dot net p dot net io counters as you can see from the options list there are so many things you can do i think it's a really great module and let's run that again and you can see here here we have sent lots of bytes of information we have received lots of bytes of information but we've received and we received less than we i think we received the problem is it's in bytes so it's very hard with like when dealing in you know large memory data because it's all broken down into bytes so and then you can see the packets we sent the packets we received and any um, um, errors and stuff we've had there so I hope you really enjoyed that and I'm going to show you one last thing and that is we can also calculate we can find out when how when was our last time our computer was we was booted so you can find out how long you've been uh, on this computer for and by typing in boot equals p dot boot time and you'll get a long number like that which admittedly does not mean anything to me so what I've done is I've changed that to a date uh, to, to a timestamp with a date and a time so if we then change that if we get rid of this Actually get rid of that. and then rerun it that number hopefully will become a bit more meaningful and you can see here that I booted this at 12.30 on that date so I hope you really enjoyed that tutorial and check out more of my tutorials on analystrising.com and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks very much for watching